Marty, we're back on home soil for us, not so much for you, but with Tottenham around the corner with two and a half weeks really into pre-season. How pleased are you with the progress made? Good precision so far. Um, I need to say that the guys came in a, in a very good shape, um, actually doing a good job because such a demanding last season requires well for them to rest mentally and, and switch off. But I think they found a good balance together with the performance department, medical department, to come back in a, in a good foundation to work since they won. So, yeah, the focus has been pretty much about football, trying to, to train all the time about our concepts, about how we can be better as a team this season. And yeah, it's been three weeks of a lot of work, I would say, on and off the pitch. Good calm as well in Girona, but the progress has been positive. You talk about our concepts. How much have you enjoyed this window of opportunity to, to spend getting those concepts across? You've not had that opportunity up until now. Yeah, it's true. And I think that uh, it's definitely a good window. We always coach as we are, even when we go to sleep, we're thinking about something pops in our mind. And it's always a good moment, actually, when in precision, you have more like an overview of how we can develop as a team. Because sometimes, especially in championship with such a busy schedule, uh, is about preparing the team for the next game, which is a lot in our case about our identity as well. But many times it's a small twist, small adjustments to the position. For me, the way I see football many times is about how we're going to build up, where is the space. Well, now in precision, we can work more like in a zoom out in other things, in, in things that are more generic, how to deal with the situation, if we want to press higher or lower, depending on the moment of the game. If we, what happens if we get a red car and we got only 10 men, how we, how we manage the situation or we attack a team that is only with 10. Things like this that help us to improve as a team. Uh, perhaps there are some moments in the season that you cannot do that. Have you been happy with how quickly the, the players have grasped those different concepts? Yeah, I think that these guys, since day one I came here, they have been excellent to being very open to what we are suggesting to them, the way we develop as a team as well is based on their skills. So I think it comes in a very natural way. And yeah, my, my job is try to make the very best version of all of them. So I think that in that sense, the guys have been always very positive since, since our arrival. You talk about in your sleep ideas popping into your head. What ideas have popped into your head for preparing for Tottenham? It's going to be a, a fun game, I would say. A challenging one, obviously, because it's only our third week in, in preparation. And to face such a good team at this early stage will give us some answers as well on where we are. But uh, yeah, I think it's, it's good to face especially a team as well that I have big admiration for the coach, the way Tottenham has been playing. Angus team play is always a brave uh, attacking way of playing, which I like. So it's going to be a fantastic test for us because we will not change our approach. We're going to try to be as well as dominant as we can uh, on possession, trying to press high as well. So hopefully it's going to be a good football game for our supporters and a good test for our players definitely because we're going to play against very good players, Premier League, top Premier League players, I would say. At this early stage, it's going to be interesting. Ultimately, it's about preparing for the West Brom match when the season starts. Will it be a case of targeted match minutes for the players, as has been the case for the two matches in Girona? Yeah, definitely. The way I've been always working in precision, it's always to, to prepare the team for the first game, official game of the season. So everything that we have doing over the last three weeks, everything we're going to do in the next three weeks is to make sure that we are in the best condition as we can to beat West Brom. Um, but at the same time, it's about growing as a, as a team, the team spirit, the togetherness, the things off the pitch, but as well on the pitch, understanding situations, how we can be better as a team in all the phases of the game. So in that sense, I would say that there are some, some minutes target according as well as we had a big, big week this week in terms of load, a lot of training, some double sessions. So obviously the players is not right now the moment to push them to 90 minutes, but we have a plan for all of them. And yeah, we're going to follow that plan tomorrow. And Lyndon Dykes heartbreakingly missed out, of course, on the Euros. How is he in terms of his level of availability or where he's at? And also Sam Field, who of course came off in the second game in Girona. Yeah, I think uh, Lyndon has been doing a very good job since his unfortunate injury, missing the Euros. Uh, but he's a mentally, mentally very strong player. And he has been working very well with the medical team while we were in Girona. Uh, he has been training all week with us. And since then, he has been showing a good fitness level already, showing that he's ready to, to play some minutes tomorrow. So it's very good news. 
he's confident about that and so far the, the level of performance he shown in the trainings feel make us feel that, that he's ready for that. And then Sam just picked a very small muscular injury um, uh, in that game in Girona, but uh, he's progressing well. He will not be involved on tomorrow's game, but hopefully he will be during the next week. And very finally, how much are you looking forward to seeing the QPR fans in W12 again? Very much, very much, because yeah, we always say that we like to be back to the places we were happy. So I was very happy at Loftus Road last season, looking forward to do it again this season. The amazing feeling we got after the Leeds game um, is there. So looking forward to see all of them and hopefully we can start to build something good this season.